Hi, I'm Alec DeLulo, CAD specialist at Glidewell Laboratories. Welcome to this episode of CAD CAM Tools Tips and Tricks. In this installment, we will take a look at screw retain crowns. I have found many benefits of using these one-piece alternatives instead of their cemented counterparts. In my experience, Bruxer Solid Zirconia screw retain crowns are convenient and eliminate the possibility of porcelain fracturing off. To begin, let's take a look at the design stage of the process. We start by annotating the correct implant position with the placement of a glowing orb on the buccal tissue in front of the implant site. After that, you'll see a blue line showing the insertion direction. Click Next and move to the next step. The software will now prompt you to select a smile library. For this case, we will be using the GL Bruxer single library. When the program drops in the crown, it will probably be very large. Use the green color dot individual transformation to resize the crown to the correct size. Right now it does not need to be perfect because you'll have access to better tools to perfect it in just a little bit. When you've done all that you can with the general handles, switch to individual morphing tool and reduce some more, section by section until the general shape of the crown is correct. Click Next. Now the software will tell you it's time to shape the emergence profile. Since our case is a premolar, we're creating a shape that is a bit more triangular. Rotate the crown on the screen so that the working occlusal is directly in front of you, and make sure the overall shape is naturally matching the emergent shape you've created. Then rotate the view to the sides and pull the colored dot handles, moving the margins to match the tissue level. You'll see a cross-sectional view of the tissue and crown, with a black line highlighting the edge of the tissue, and the red line depicting the line of the crown. Move the red lines so that they can neatly match the contours of the black lines. Click Next. Now we've arrived at the sculpt stage. Before adjusting any other part of the restoration, spend some time where the Crown and Emergence Profile tool connect. To fix it, select the wax knife tool on the lower left side of the screen and then choose the smooth setting. Run your cursor over the entire lower third of the crown. On the right side of the screen, there are a series of sliders with small symbols displaying their different functions. Select the slider with red and yellow cusp. Slide it all the way to the right. This turns on a distance map that shows warmer colors where the crown is contacting another surface. Go to your Sculpt Toolkit and switch to the Operations and Parameters tool. Use the desired distance to antagonist to pull down the occlusal contact points and the surroundings. You can also use precise distance to antagonist to pull only the contact points. Use whichever tool you prefer while correcting the occlusion. Once you're happy with the occlusion, rotate the crown so you can see one of the interproximal contacts. First you can do a global transformation with the glowing handles. These make it easy to do general movements so you can make sure it's reasonably close to its neighbors. Now 
Now, check the color map. Red means the crown is touching the adjacent, in which case, use the morphing tool until the red is reduced. The contact should be showing yellow and green. Use the Morph tool to create a broad yellow contact. Rotate the crown to the opposite interproximal contact and repeat the process. Then click Next. At the assembly stage, the program asks you to review the screw retain crown before it is sent to milling. Make sure you haven't clicked the checkbox in the lower left corner of the screen that enables an angled screw hole. We've found that most milling machines can't handle that request. A straight screw hole will auto-generate directly down the titanium insert following the set path insertion as you switch the assembly stage. This function may cut through some of the desired occlusal anatomy, but you can fix that with some chair side composite at the time of delivery. When you are happy with the entire design, click OK to create the finished design file. Thank you for tuning in to this episode of CAD CAM Tools Tips and Tricks. If you'd like to see more videos, head online to the Tips and Tricks column in Glidewell's Lab Perspectives magazine. <laughs>